Hey everyone, and welcome to the latest Echoes Ramble. Now today, I was hoping to talk about small ships, specifically the new small ships that NetEase seem to, seem to be uh, alluding to in their most recent announcement in the Eve Echoes Discord. However, that did not happen with today's maintenance period, no special event dropped in the background or out like that, so I won't be talking about that today. Instead, I will be talking about why the Eve Echoes content creator program doesn't really make a great deal of sense to me. Now, this isn't me coming in and saying, oh no, I want to be a content creator, you need to give me that status even though I've only just started. No, it's it's. don't worry, it's not going to be a rant about that. It's more about how they treat the content creator program. And this is coming completely as a uh, external onlooker having watched Echoes of New Eden and Captain Benzie and the various other content creators in the past come and go, such as Giga Forte and Sovereign RPG. So, for those of you that aren't aware, the Eve Echoes content creator programme is NetEase's form of advertising. So, what they do is they get large-level contributors to the game whether those be YouTubers, podcasters, programmers, PvPers, whatever they happen to be, uh, if they meet a specific type of metric that NetEase uh, establishes, they get made into a content creator. And the role of the content creator from NetEase's perspective, and this is NetEase's perspective, not the content creator themselves, is they are the advertising wing of the game that costs little more than a few giveaways. Sounds good, right? Now, ask yourself, the content creators that we have at the moment, what audience do they serve? And I'm not trying to be critical of the content creators here. I just want to put that out there. This is about the program itself. Now, the PvP videos, the um, event reviews, the podcasts, the kill board, all of this, for the most part, with few exceptions, serves the pre-existing player base. The audience is people that are already playing the game or are looking to return to the game. The audience that... Con our, uh, I'm struggling with words here. The audience that the content creators on the program are targeting are the people that are already playing the game. And NetEase is essentially, through them, advertising the game to the people that are already playing it. So th there's no actual advertisements going on, is there? It just doesn't make a great deal of sense to me. And I know this is going to be a really, really short video, but I thought I'd just put the question out there, you know, why if NetEase settled with this, because we're, we're stuck. Of course, we can't see the player base numbers like we can with EVE Online. If you didn't know, in EVE Online, if you go into the game's launcher, on the launcher itself, it gives you the number of how many people are currently logged into the game. Now, we don't have that with EVE Echoes, and we honestly don't know if the player count in the game is going up or down without NetEase providing us with those metrics. But one can only imagine if the game is only being advertised to the people that are currently playing the game and people naturally are going to leave the game over time for their own individual reasons, would you expect the game community to be growing? I don't know. It... It's just something that never made a great deal of sense to me from NetEase's perspective. I mean, I, I understand their desire for essentially free marketing, but they're going about it all wrong. They're not... The content creator program isn't a program to create the best possible advertisements for the game. It's a program to create... How do I explain this? It's a program that creates content to help us stay in the game despite the fact that's not what they want it to be i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to allude to with this ramble um that's 
all I've got to say about the content creator program at this point in time. So I'll cut the rambling there. If you enjoy listening to these videos, please hit like and subscribe. It only takes a couple of seconds. I know YouTubers tend to say this a lot, but it does help. Uh, if you have anything to add about the content creator program and what a part of it doesn't make sense to you, feel free to leave your comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.